Well, hello everybody, Dennis here. This is my uh, 2014 Highlander, uh, Toyota Highlander LT. It came with the uh, power door openers, which have been nothing but trouble. And everybody that has one of these, just about everybody has had trouble with the power door openers not working. So finally, after the third trip to get them repaired, I, uh, and with no success, I decided to uh, look at other options. And there weren't a lot available as a matter of fact, it's discussed on the forums about replacing the struts with manual struts. Well, it turns out after a little research, I discovered that the base model of the Highlander did in fact come with the manual struts. And I have a set right here. This is what they look like. This is the Toyota part. This, I got this from Toyota. And you have to replace all four brackets because they are uh, different with this system. So you need four brackets and two of these. And the whole thing came to $183 at the Toyota Place. And I'll put the link below in the comment sections of the Toyota Place, the online Toyota Place that I use. So let's get started and we'll show you how to change this. I've already changed the left side. I'm gonna change the right side next. Okay, the first step is you open the glove box right here. And that little circuit breaker right there has to be turned off. That's the first step. That's the most important step, and it will never be turned back on. If you if you forget to turn this breaker off, you'll get an alarm tone every time you try to open and close the gate, so you want to leave it off. Okay, the next step is to raise the gate one inch past where it normally gets, tops out. And the reason for this is to take the pressure off the struts. You notice I blocked it in with these things here to get it off. All right, the next step is to remove this trim panel that sits right here on the door. You've got two of these, one on each side. That's how you do it, that part right there. All right, next step is to remove this connector and you push right here and it pops apart right there. Then you come around right here, pop this off and that's out. You're done with that and you can actually put the trim piece back on. You don't need it anymore, okay? All right, all right, next you're gonna need a number 10 socket yeah I use a long one but you can use a short one with an extension and, and a, rat, a uh, ratchet and you take these two screws right here and the brackets out on this high, this uh, power unit the brackets are permanently attached so you have to remove the brackets all right okay and I cheat after I break them out, I take them off with the power tool. Then the bracket just pops down like that, and the reason you were able to get it loose, you can still see, right? Mm -hmm. Is because you had it braced. All right, let's take the top one out. All right, then take that one out. I can edit all these. And you're out. That's that simple. So the next thing you do is take your strut, the struts are marked right there, left and right. You have to, and they go on like this. Take your part and go ahead and snap them in because they're easier to work with when they're snapped in already. It just snaps in like this. That's it. Put the bottom one on like this, and the bottom one goes on like that. All right, like that. Mm -hmm. And you put it on, snap it on. That's it. You got it. Now we'll put. So you take this one with the strut attached. And you screw it in. Loose, just leave the screws loose. Put the top one on. And I'll edit, I'll edit that too. Mm -hmm. They don't want to watch me fumbling around with the screws because I can't get them straight. Okay, believe it or not, that one is done. Just take some aluminum tape and just cover this up the hole, but it's inside the shielded area, so you don't really need to worry about it. Now I'm going to show you the difference the way the door is to operate. Okay, now that I've replaced both struts, 
I've got both of these out. I'm going to eBay them because I think the struts are good. So what we do now is we take this out. Make sure the door is clear. Look at this. It latched itself just fine. To open it, you're not going to believe how easy it is. That's it. So much easier. The manual conversion works. Thank you.